Hey friends, so I have this old build of mine from 2018 and recently the motherboard died on this. So today we'll be replacing it with a new MSI B450M bazooka motherboard. And yeah, so the process would look like I would have to remove the components, which is the CPU, RAM and the graphics card and then install this new one. Uh, I think I would need some new stand offsets that's bigger than the old one. So in order to get the cooler out, I would have to turn on the PC just so that I can get that thermal paste to warm up. And I don't hopefully pull out the CPU along with the cooler. So yeah, I'll be booting this up, let it run for a few minutes and hopefully it warms up. And while that happens, let's look at this uh, mo new motherboard. And it's an upgrade from the old one since uh, this one has Wi-Fi and some other features that the old one didn't have. You can see the SATA cables, uh, the Wi-Fi antennas. So yeah, uh, I think it's been running for last 20 minutes so I'll start unplugging the GPU I've already taken off the screws of the back so move the GPU so now we will take off the CPU cooler and you can see the amount of dust it has I'll have to probably clean it up later but yeah you can see like it came off right away the thermal paste was not stuck so i recommend like running your pc for 20 to 25 minutes to just warm it up um, the next would be the power cables for the cpu and the motherboard itself i cannot get it to do it with my one hand so i took them off here and i also took out the cpu as you can see and also the RAM sticks. So now I'll be taking off the screws using the screwdriver here and then we can have our motherboard out. So here we have it and now it's time to install the components on the new motherboard so CPU CPU cooler RAM sticks would go in before I put the motherboard inside the case and you can see now that I have already installed the CPU and the cooler along with the RAM the CPU cooler is plugged in The graphics card will go in at the end when the motherboard is inside the case and here you can see I've already installed the standoffs and also the motherboard screws so that it's on the case. And now I'll go ahead and install the GPU. So fast forwarding, I've installed the GPU and we are ready to boot up and see if we get bias. And here's the moment of truth. So we were able to boot in. And here is the lovely bias. Thanks for tuning into the video. I'll be posting some DevOps content in the coming weeks. And thanks for sticking around. And make sure you're subscribed to the channel. I'll see you guys next week.